What's happening guys, back at you with another video. So in this video, I'm going to be basically listing off my favorite shows I saw this uh, this year for the year of 2022. So this is basically shows that I've liked, shows that I've enjoyed watching this past year. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, kicking off the list, starting off is a series on Netflix that was honestly such, it's been such a good show. It's already, this was its fifth season this past year. And I've enjoyed every single season. And that's going to be Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai is such an amazing show. Honestly, in my opinion, has not had a weak season. Um, every season has basically been great and good and awesome to watch. Each season, each year that's been out. Um, you know, like with this show, I was a little skeptical in the beginning with it being like a Karate Kid legacy kind of show. Uh, continuing the story and all that stuff. But after watching that first season, I was definitely on board and I continue to watch every single season um, from there on out. And I've enjoyed every single season that they put out. And I'm definitely excited for what the future holds for this series. So Cobra Kai is definitely one of those series that I enjoyed watching this past year. Moving on is going to be Stranger Things, another Netflix se uh, Netflix series that we had to come out this year. Uh, so it had its fourth season this past summer. And they decided to go ahead and split it up into two and uh, two parts. And with this season, with it being being way much longer than previous seasons, I really enjoyed this season. This might be my new favorite season for Stranger Things. I enjoyed this season so much. And with all the extended uh the extended length of this season honestly was amazing how it was all played out in each episode and just having all those episodes and having them all be long and then even part two was like super long too um like it was an amazing season i thought it was an amazing season i definitely it definitely got me excited for next season on what they're going to do for i believe it's the final season for season five so i'm it definitely got me excited for next season and seeing what they are going to do with the next season i definitely can't wait for it. i'm definitely excited for next season but this past season was definitely awesome to watch Moving on, we're going to go to a show that was on Amazon Prime. It had its third season this past year, and that's going to be The Boys. The Boys has been one of the shows uh, that I enjoyed watching um, for each season. Um, this, season this, this past year, they had their third season, and it was another amazing season. I enjoyed this uh, this show so much. I enjoyed every single season they've been putting out. Um, and like It's an awesome show. It's uh, definitely graphic in a very adult and all that but i like how the way it is and i like watching each season i especially like this season especially in the beginning that was a crazy honestly crazy first episode where they did the uh the so-called ant-man uh theory thanos theory whatever it was literally in the first episode it was crazy it was graphic it was awesome uh but yeah the rest of the season was definitely totally awesome um and I enjoyed watching the season. I definitely can't wait for the next season. Also, too, they even have a spinoff coming out pretty soon. So I'm definitely going to be checking out the spinoff. And I definitely am excited for the next season of The Boys. All right, moving on to the Marvel side. We're going to have next on the list, Moon Knight. Now, I know this one has been uh, kind of mixed reviews on it. But honestly, I enjoyed the show. I enjoyed the show. I enjoyed that they were able to give this more obscure comic book character his own show. Oscar Isaac did an amazing performance, uh, being able to play this character with DID. Um, you know, he did such an amazing job with the role. And honestly, I like the show. It might not be one of the greatest things, but honestly, I still enjoyed watching the show. And I still enjoyed it for what it was. And honestly, it was one of my favorite things to watch this year. Moving on to another show. This is going to be a DC show. This one, this one was honestly a big surprise for me this year, and that's going to be Peacemaker. I honestly did not think I was going to enjoy this show. James Gunn was doing this show, and um, I was still a little surprised with how much I enjoyed this show, how much I liked it, and how awesome it was. Like, you know, you got Peacemaker, who, uh, who came out in the Suicide Squad movie, who a lot of people didn't like. He was basically the character that people didn't like. And it's like, you know... Before watching this, this series on HBO Max, I was like, how are you going to make this the likable character? How are you going to make people want to watch the show and all that stuff? But leave it to James Gunn to be able to do that. Make him a likable character. Make him actually make you actually feel something for the character. Make an awesome show. And how about that intro? <laughs> that was an amazing intro. Like That is one of the best intros I've seen like probably ever or like years or I don't know, whatever it was. Like... Every time I watched a new episode, I never skipped the intro. That intro was so awesome. It was so amazing. It was fire, honestly. It was fire. It was funny at the same time. 
So I never skipped the intro whenever I was watching a new episode, but the series overall was an amazing series. Uh, I like what John Cena was able to do with the role, make us actually make him an actual, an actual likable character, uh, make him make you actually feel something for the character, and honestly, it was an amazing first season. I'm definitely excited for season two. Next up is going to be Wednesday, the Wednesday, the Wednesday series that was on Netflix uh, recently. Um, honestly, I like this season. Adam's Family is one of those things I, I do like. I like the original 90s movies. So whenever they made this announcement or, you know, having this series come out about Wednesday, I was definitely on board. I was definitely excited for it and seeing what, uh, what they were going to do with this series. And especially with having Jenna Ortega attached to the character or playing the character, I was definitely excited to see what they were going to do with this series. You know, Jenna Ortega is one of those actress, uh, actresses that are, you know, those up and coming kind of breakout uh actress um that i like that's been um uh, been have uh, been having some good success over the past couple years um so i was definitely excited to see her as the character and i enjoyed the series overall like i enjoyed the series um so much that i actually watched it twice already so like i like everything they were able to do with it having this sort of uh super natural element mixed in with some mystery um mystery case sort of and i like what the things they were able to do with it so i'm definitely excited hopefully they get season two it hasn't officially been announced yet but hopefully they do end up getting a season two because i'll definitely be watching it once they get season two all right this next one i know it's not necessarily a show but i decided to go ahead and include it with this uh as for part of my favorite shows that's going to be werewolf by night the marvel special presentation that we got this past october um honestly such an amazing thing as i like i said before this was actually one of my favorite mcu phase four projects that they released um so i was definitely liking this special presentation i like everything they were able to do with it and having michael giochino you know de his directorial debut he did an amazing job with this and i absolutely liked what they were able to do with this character and the other characters in the movie uh, in the special presentation and just everything they were able to do with the special presentation overall like hopefully they make some more special presentations in the future because i've really been enjoying these special presentations and speaking on enjoying special pres presentations another one special presentation from marvel that i enjoyed this year was guardians of the galaxy holiday special uh this was probably another one of my favorite mcu phase four projects that they put out during phase four i enjoyed this special so much and it was amazing to be able to see this special and um have the Guardians of the Galaxy pretty much have their own Christmas holiday special. And it was a lot of fun to watch. It had um, some emotional uh, steps in it too. And honestly, just overall was amazing and fun to watch. Now this next series, I know this next series definitely got mixed reviews. And has been, uh, you know, not necessarily high up on people's, uh, you know, the fans list or anything like that but i still was able to enjoy the series and still have fun watching it and still be nostalgic while watching it and that's going to be the obi-wan kenobi series i know a lot of people have said bad things about this series and it's kind of mixed got got mixed reviews on it but for me personally i was still able to enjoy this series for different things you know being able to have ian mcgregor come back as uh obi-wan kenobi having anakin skywalker come back as darth vader or, you know, Hayden Christian coming back as Darth Vader. Um, and, you know, I, like, watching this series, I felt uh, nostalgic about it. And I was still able to enjoy this series and still be excited for each episode each week. Um, so, yeah, like, me, I gotta say, my uh, me personally, I still gotta say that I enjoyed it still. And still was excited for each episode each week. And I still, you know, overall enjoyed it. And then the ending really got to me, too, so... Um, yeah, so it was definitely one of my favorite things to watch this past year. Moving on to a new series that, um, I know it's not necessarily new, but I mean, I had a second season this past year, uh, but I didn't, like, I started watching it whenever the second season, like, was about to finish already, but, um, a friend did get me, get me onto this show, and I actually binge watched the first and second season all the way through, uh, and honestly, I enjoyed it. I like it. And I was able to, um, you know, like I said, I binge watched it first and second season all the way through. Um, and I liked it. It was, I, I gotta say it's one, it's a great show and it had a lot of acclaim to it. And that's going to be Euphoria. Um, this was definitely a kind of surprise for me. I wasn't like, I heard of Euphoria before, but I wasn't really, um, interested in watching it and you know nothing really caught my interest in watching it like you know just hearing things about it nothing really too much caught my interest in it but then friend told me about it 
and was talking about it and talking it up and stuff like that. So I decided to go ahead and check it out. And honestly, I like the show. I definitely like the show. Um, like I said, it was it, it was enjoyable. I like what they were able to do with it. And like I said before, I was able to binge watch both seasons back to back because I liked it that much. So that should tell you something. I'm, if I'm able to binge watch uh, a whole series back to back for both seasons, that's telling you, that's telling you something. So I really did like Euphoria. And if it does end up getting a season three, that's definitely a season I'll be checking out too. Um, so yeah, that was definitely one of the shows I like watching this year. Moving on to the next one on our list is going to be Chucking. Now, uh, season two was uh, released this past year. I haven't finished all season two yet, but I just got to say I enjoyed what they did with season one for the most part. And I enjoyed the few episodes that they did with season two so far that I got through. Um, so yeah, I like I like the character of Chucky. I like his movies, and I like what they they've been able to do with the show for the most part. Uh, a couple hits and misses and stuff, but overall, I still enjoy watching it and still catch it as much as I can. Uh, like I said, I'm still running through season two right now. I'm a few episodes in, but I'm still I was still able to like and enjoy watching it what I've seen so far. So um, like I enjoy what they do they've done with the TV show so far. So it's definitely one I like. It's definitely one of my favorites that I've watched this year. All right, moving on and on to some anime. First up, we got Demon Slayer. I believe it was season two that came out this year. Um, so I started watching Demon Slayer for the first time last year, uh, for 2021, I believe it was when I started watching Demon Slayer, and I enjoyed the first season. Uh, it was right. It was like maybe a couple months before the, the movie came out. Mu Mugen Train came out. Um, so. I watched the first season, and then like two months later, the movie came out. I went to go see the movie, enjoyed the movie. Um, started watching season two by the end of uh, 2021, I believe it was. And going into 2022, they were still airing season two and all that. So I enjoyed Demon Slayer season two. Uh, both arcs that they had for season two was awesome. I enjoy everything about this show, uh, animation, um, the characters, the story, everything like that. I enjoyed it. It's one of my favorite animes. Moving on is going to be Attack on Titan season four. I believe it was like part two. Um, I enjoyed this this uh, this part of the season. You know, it's the whole season four. This is basically the final season they're going to do. They split it up into different parts. I believe we're getting part three sometime in twenty twenty three. So I enjoyed what they're able to do with part two. I like Attack on Titan. It's one of my favorite all time animes. Um, so I like, I like watching it. It was, I like watching Attack on Titan. It's an amazing anime. I like, I like a lot of things about it. So, um, yeah, so I definitely can't wait for part three whenever it does come out in 2023. I'm definitely going to be checking it out and definitely excited for what they do with that show. But that's going to be my list for my favorite shows and shows I enjoyed watching for the year of 2022. Definitely let me know down in the comments below. What were some of your favorite shows or shows that you enjoyed watching in the year of 2022? But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Remember, if you want to be a part of Team Legendary, all you got to do is subscribe and turn notifications on so you know when I post another video. Hope you all have an awesome day. And remember, be legendary.